I'm here again. We're back. We're back. Yeah. Last time we were in San Francisco, but yeah. now we're in London. And it's Pele, and you're from Microsoft. From Microsoft Research. Research, yes. and this time, what do we have on board to show? This time we have on board uh, the Circle Playground Express Revision D. Uh, if you follow uh, Lady Ada's Twitter and uh, Adafruit, you've seen it. Yeah. Seen some, um, some hints of it. So here it is, there's one. And the exciting piece is we're showing our new PXT based editor for uh, that board. Yeah. So it is a, a block slash JavaScript code editor that runs in the browser and uh, that allows kids to get started with the making. Uh, so what's special with this board, if we start out with the, the board? This is, uh, <clears throat> this is an awesome board. Um, so it is the, an evolution of the Secret Playground uh, developer edition that you have on the website. But it's, it's running a SAMD21, uh, which has an M0 in it. Yeah. So we have now 32-bit, we have more memory. Uh, so you can do quite a bit more with this one. You can do quite a bit more, you can you have a microphone, you can do sampling, you can synthesize so, yeah, so, sound. So what kind of sensors and stuff do we have on it? All right, so we have uh, capacitive pins all around, right, to do your wearable stuff. Yeah, um, you can sort of sew through them just yes. like you can on the other ones. We have, uh, then we have like the, you know, steer, you know the, the SPI and the I2C. Uh, then on board, we have in the center a motion sensor. Yeah. We have two buttons, yeah. it's still uh, good old buttons, uh, a, a slide switch, you know, we can do kind of an on-off operation. Yeah. Uh, we have a microphone, we have a uh, microphone is here, we have a speaker, we have a temperature sensor. You can see there's little signs, there's a little, uh, there's a little printout, yeah, that, yeah. you know, that yeah, tells so you. you can actually read on yeah. the board. And the then there's a, light, there's a light sensor, that's the eye, right? Yeah. So a lot of cool stuff, a lot of sensors into this you know, tiny little tiny board. Little, yeah. You can power it via the JST connector here, right? Yeah. So you go, uh, uh, so very cool educational board that lets you do a lot of activities without going to breadboarding. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, what you've done is you've taken the PXT editor and you've made it capable for this platform. Exactly. We, we, We've built a set of blocks and then a coding experience that's targeted and tailored for that particular board. So we yeah. have you know, great support. We have a library for NeoPixels that, that's pretty complete. You can see here, I have, um, I have the rainbow that's, that's turning yeah. around. But we also brought in the, the event model that we built for the microbit. Yeah. So you're not, uh, you can respond to a shake. You can respond to the light going dark or yeah. you know. Or so bright. you get a lot of input possibilities. Yeah that you can expand on as well. You can expand on, so you can intuitively write programs where you can you know, respond to a button click yeah. and you can do something. So all the invented based programming. Yeah. We also have now the round trip to JavaScript. Yeah. So you can always go back and forth between the block and the JavaScript. Most of the time. Most of the time. You start doing features that are advanced that are not supported yeah. by the blocks. Then, there's no way to come yeah. back. Right? So once you go into the JavaScript, once you get good at it. And, yeah, yeah. then you need to leave the blocks. Yeah. But that's a lot to do with progression, I guess. Yeah. So you can start with the blocks and gradually go into the, the code in itself. Now, the, the, the innovation here is that we do not require any uh, installed software. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the board in bootloader mode yeah. by pressing the reset button. Yeah. And now it's, it's like this. And now there's a drive that showed up. Yeah. And we're in the same style of the micro bit yeah. where we're going to drag and, file, drag and drop. Drag and drop. So I'm going to go and I'm going to drag and drop. So it, it generates my UF2 file. Go back to my download. Uh, and I'm going to and I'm going to send it to the C Play boot drive. Yeah. Right? And now watch watch closely. Yeah. Done. That was fast. And now you're running the code. Yeah. Right. And now it's now you don't see it anymore. Uh, we're still doing improvements around that. Um, so uh, installation free. Yeah. Uh, experience. Super cool blocks. Browser based. Um, works everywhere. Um, so when will we when will we see? Uh, uh, so Lady uh, Limor said that around March. Yeah. Uh, should be able to buy the boards uh, yeah. from a different website and around twenty five dollars, maybe less. That's um, super exciting. Uh, and yeah, these are very bright. Yeah, uh, we we have them at lesser bright because it's yeah. blinding. But if you want to go for if you want to go for the the blinding thing, uh, here, two five five. 
and then we have you know we have tons of little animations you can build your own yeah uh, and then I can do that again bootloader the mode download grab the file yeah iterating in the platform becomes really iterating smooth. is very fast it, and in that sense it's much like the micro bit you have the simulator. visuals the simulator you explore it and then you go straight in yeah that was Super bright. This is super bright. Yeah. <laughs> so if we're doing fun wearable stuff, yeah. well, this, this is, is a, a great one. Really yeah. fun platform. And you leverage the, the whole floor ecosystem for yeah. Adafruit, the you know the the, the portable uh, LEDs, the, the threading. Yeah. So this is a continuation yeah. of a you know of a line yeah. of, of a circular board, and it's really a fun one to work with. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for that run through. See you uh, in San Francisco. It, it, we will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.